morning children can you hear the voice this voice you must have heard around your house they call out loudly raddi paper le lo like that the name of our next chapter is the junk seller in this chapter a lady kiran who has studied only till class 8th because of her problems in the family this lady opens a junk shop and how she flourishes with the help of this junk shop is told to us in detail in the chapter also we are going to learn things like profit and loss now children you have seen there are so many vegetable sellers fruit sellers junk sellers the ones who come on the cycle and they take newspapers and old things from your house and they give you the money so these people are not very educated they have got minimum edu education but even then they are able to earn money so today we are going to study about transaction of money it means buying and selling objects so this will be my factory side and this will be my customer side right so i am going to buy things from the factory and i will give some money to buy the things then i will sell those things to my customer fine let's start now children i am going to buy something very interesting and this is my open air shop right like we have open air theaters this is my open air shop because i don't have a proper shop you know i only have a house <laughs> okay so children this is my factory side just see what i am going to buy with this 500 rupees okay see what i got this is a harry potter wand and i bought it from the factory owner for 500 rupees and i know that this children love so much because they read harry potter i'm sure all of you must be reading our harry potter so i'm going to sell this wand for 700 rupees okay let me sell it to my customer for 700 rupees oh wow see i got one 500 rupee note and one 200 rupee note i got extra money so i am very happy so this extra money the 200 rupees extra which i have got this is called my profit right let's do let's buy something else and then sell it again this time again i am going to buy something which will interest both the boys and the girls let's see what i am going to buy and i am going to buy this for 200 rupees okay from the factory i am buying it for 200 rupees wow look at this this is the mug in which you can drink your shake your milk and this is a disney mug see how beautiful it is it has got all disney characters on it and i know children would love it so i put it on in my show window and i am going to sell it for 250 rupees okay come on let me give it to some child who would love it for 250 rupees or to some father who would like to give to the child okay oh i got 250 rupees children i had bought the mug from the factory for only 200 rupees and i sold it for 250 rupees so this 50 rupees is extra which i got and this is my profit now children one day in the factory i saw a very cute looking teddy bear 
I thought many little girls and little boys would love to buy it. So I bought that teddy bear from the factory for 500 rupees. Okay. See how cute it is, right? So I kept it in my show window for, and I thought I'm going to sell it to some little boy or little girl. And it was lying in my window, show window for a very, very long time. So it became little dirty. I thought that people would not like to buy a dirty thing. So I said, I have to sell it. So I put a tag on it for 400 rupees. Children, I bought this for 500 rupees from the factory and now I am going to sell it for 400 rupees to a customer. See, I got 400 rupees for the teddy bear for which I paid 500 rupees. So how much less did I get? I got 100 rupees less and the 100 rupees less which I got is called my loss. That is the loss which I had to bear. Then after some time, I saw a beautiful model car and I wanted to buy it because I know how attracted the children feel when they look at the car. So I bought the model car for a 1000 rupees from the factory. Okay. Wow, it looks nice. I thought I am going to sell this car for 1,500 rupees. So I kept, again, I kept it in my show window. But since the car was a little costly, 1,500 rupees, nobody wanted to buy such an expensive car. So it kept lying in my show window for again for a very long time and it became dirty. Now, it, since it became dirty, again nobody wanted to buy. So instead of keeping it, I thought, let me sell this car for 900 rupees. So I wrote down on this car, discount for rupees 900. So some father, one of the fathers, he came and he bought this car for rupees 900. So I gave this car away for rupees 900. So now children, I got 500 and 200 and 200. So I got 900 rupees for the same car for which I had paid 1000 rupees. Again, I lost some money. How much money did I lose, beta? I bought the car for 1000 rupees and I sold it for 900 rupees. So I lost 100 rupees. 1000 minus 900 is 100 rupees. So this is how we are supposed to do the transactions and this is how we come to know whether we have got profit or we have got loss. Same thing I am going to explain it to you in detail with the help of my PowerPoint presentation. The junk seller Children, in this chapter, we are going to learn about the transactions. Transactions means buying and selling anything, any item. Here, we are taking the example of a shopkeeper who is a stationer and he is selling different items which are liked by children. Okay, now this shopkeeper is not going to manufacture all these items which he is selling. So from where he is getting all these items? He is getting all these things from a factory. So he gives some money to the factory owner and buys the things from the factory. After that, a customer goes to the shopkeeper and gives him money and buys things from him. 
So this is how the whole mechanics work. So one day this shopkeeper bought a water bottle from the factory and paid rupees 300 to the factory owner. He got the bottle in his shop and a customer bought this water bottle from him for rupees 500. Now children, the shopkeeper bought it for rupees 300 and he got rupees 500 when he sold the same water bottle. So the extra money shopkeeper got is equal to rupees 500 minus rupees 300 which is equal to rupees 200. So the shopkeeper is happy. Okay, let's take another example. Now the shopkeeper bought this cool bag from the factory after paying rupees 500. And he sold the same bag to a customer for rupees 700. Now children, he bought it for rupees 500 and he got rupees 700. So he got extra money. Now extra money shopkeeper got is equal to rupees 700 minus rupees 500 equal to rupees 200. So the shopkeeper is again happy. Okay, let's see another example. Pencil box. Now the pencil box was bought by the shopkeeper for rupees 70 from the factory. And the same pencil box he sold for rupees 100. Now the extra money shopkeeper got is equal to rupees 100 minus rupees 70 is equal to rupees 30. So the shopkeeper is again happy. Okay, let's take one more example. Now shopkeeper this time got a lovely tiffin box and he paid rupees 200 to the factory owner for buying the tiffin box. And the same tiffin box he sold to a customer for rupees 300. He got rupees 300 for the same tiffin box. Now the extra money which the shopkeeper got is equal to rupees 300 minus rupees 200 equal to rupees 100. He got extra rupees 100. So the shopkeeper is again happy. Okay, another example. Now the shopkeeper one day bought a globe and he paid rupees 600 for the globe to the factory owner. He got the globe and he kept it in his shop. The globe was in his shop for a very, very long time. The children would come, touch, but not buy it. Slowly and slowly the globe became a little dirty. Now the shopkeeper felt that he should charge less money for the globe so that at least someone would buy it. So he was ready to charge rupees 500 for the globe. So one boy who used to come to his shop very often saw that the cost of the globe has been reduced. So he bought the globe. Now the shopkeeper paid rupees 600 for the globe but he got only rupees 500. So shopkeeper lost some money. How much did he lose? Rupees 600 minus rupees 500 equal to rupees 100. And the shopkeeper was sad. You know why he was sad? Because he lost money, beta, since the globe had become a little dirty. So, 
forcibly he had to reduce the price and he lost rupees 100 okay another example one day shopkeeper bought a pencil box from the factory for rupees 100 and the same pencil box he sold it for rupees 150 now he got extra money beta see he bought it for rupees 100 but when he sold it the shopkeeper got rupees 150 for it so the extra money he got is rupees 150 minus rupees 100 is equal to rupees 50 so he got extra 50 rupees and the shopkeeper is again happy okay another example now children one day he bought a white board from the factory and shopkeeper paid rupees 1000 for the white board it was a big board so he thought i will charge rupees 1500 for this white board he kept the board in his shop but since the board was expensive for a very very long time it did not sell one day by mistake it fell and got little broken from one side now the shopkeeper felt very sad and he knew that nobody will buy the board which is slightly broken from a side so he thought okay let me sell the board for rupees 850 only now children one child wanted the white board but since it was expensive he was not buying it when he saw that the shopkeeper had reduced the money he felt very very happy and bought the board now for the board shopkeeper had paid rupees 1000 but on selling it he got only rupees 850 so the shopkeeper lost rupees 1000 minus rupees 850 equal to rupees 150 again the shopkeeper was sad so children with all these examples you have learned when the shopkeeper feels happy and when he feels sad okay now i want to tell you something more the money which the shopkeeper gives to the factory owner to buy any article this money is called the cost price right it is called the cost price and the money which the customer gives to the shopkeeper for buying the same object that money is called the selling price you know children why it is called the selling price because the shopkeeper has sold the thing and got the money this is the cost price this is the selling price and see selling price is more than the cost price and that's why the shopkeeper is happy so the extra money which the shopkeeper has got that is called his profit i hope children you would have understood cost price selling price profit and loss